Let's move on to the judiciary because there has been some development in the Mr. Wilmer versus the state case, right? And the Supreme Court, presided over by Mr. Justice Alfred Benin, has ordered the sale of some identified properties belonging to businessman Mr. Alfred Wilmer to offset a 51 million judgment debt owed to the state. The properties in question include two residences at Trazaco Valley at Adrigono in East Ligon, one at Pehe, Anata Holdings and a quarry in the eastern region. The now defunct UT Bank over a year ago went to court to claim that some of the identified assets belonged to it and that the troubled businessman used those as collateral for loans from the bank, which he could not pay back. The state represented by the Deputy Attorney General, Mr. Godfrey Dami Yebois, explained that the bank could not prove ownership of the said properties and therefore prayed the court to allow the sale of the said assets to defray the debt of Mr. Woyum. Me. Mr. Justice Alfred Benin in his judgment said the houses UT Bank claims to have bought from Mr. Boyome were still in the name of the businessman who used them as collateral for loans. The judgment also stated that proof available to the court is that the Anato Holding Company Limited belongs to Mr. Boyome and there is no evidence of transfer recorded in the company's register. Mr. Justice Benin subsequently dismissed the application and ordered the sale of properties, awarding a cost of 60,000 CDs each against UT Bank and Mr. Woyome. The Deputy Attorney General, Mr. Dami Yebua, in an interview with the media said, the sale of the identified properties is expected to yield 20 million Ghana CDs. The court having so found that Woyome attempted to collude with a bank to prevent an execution of judgment against him. To me, it's really an, act, an act that the state can take him on in terms of criminal prosecution and whatever. Clearly, this is something that I will consider um, prosecuting him for, for crime. And as you remember, I indicated well, in all the effort that we made by William to avoid such a judgment that there's a deal of reckoning will come. And to the deal of reckoning, then to God be the glory. Mr. Dami Yeboah says the state will continue to fish out other assets of Mr. Woyome.